Hey Brandon, this is Mr. Castlin. Let me quickly walk you through this verification of this identity that we were looking at this evening. What I did this time is instead of changing the right hand side, let's look at changing the left hand side. This cotangent of x plus pi over 4 looks a lot like a sum and difference formula. We've got a sum and difference formula for tangent, but for cotangent all we have to do is take the reciprocal of this. All we have to do is flip it. Okay. So what we what what we basically have is one minus the tangent of the first term, which is x, times the tangent of the second term, which is pi over four. Okay, I'm gonna put that over. Remember, this is cotangent, so we're flipping this. So we're do over tangent of Excuse me, let me try that again. Tangent of the first term here uh, times, I'm um, sorry, plus the tangent of the second term, which is pi over 4. I was wondering earlier what the significance of pi over 4. Well, pi over 4 is going to make this some formula nice because pi over 4 as we know is just is just 1 so basically what's going to happen is when we simplify this those become 1 you get 1 minus the tangent of x over tangent of x plus 1 okay so another way to write that or think about that is 1 minus the tangent of x over 1 plus the tangent of x Okay, so we're trying to make this equal to this. When I see that in identity, I think, well, let's, what happens if we change all of our tangents to sines and cosines? All right, so we would say 1 minus sine of x over cosine of x. And then we're going to do 1 plus. I'm going to abbreviate here and just put sine over cosine for now. Okay, now, um, when I see something like this in an identity, I think, hey, let's um, combine these into one fraction, let's get a common denominator. So think of this as, we're gonna come up here, think of this as what, cosine of x over cosine of x. Minus sine over cosine. Okay, and on the bottom we're going to get something very similar. We're going to get cosine of x, cosine of x, plus sine of x, cosine of x. The reason we've got the common denominators is we can combine the fractions together. So this is going to be a cosine of x. Minus sine of x. Now you see what's going to happen. The denominator is going to be cosine of x, which will cancel out with this denominator of cosine x. So basically, you get cosine of x minus sine of x over cosine of x plus sine of x. So identities, there's lots of different ways we can verify. You, There's possibly a way you can work with the right-hand side to make the left-hand side. What I did was said that this looks a lot like a sum or difference formula, specifically a sum formula. Changed everything to tangents, and I was able to make the left-hand side equal to the right-hand side. Okay, hope this helped. Talk to you later.